three rectangular blocks P, Q and R with respective weights W1, W2 and W3 are stacked on top of each other on a table. If they are at rest, i.e. there's no movement, draw diagrams to show the forces acting on each block. So here we've got three blocks stacked on a table. So we're going to first of all consider the forces acting on block P. Okay, there will be the weight of block P, which is W1 acting downwards, and then there will be a reaction between P and Q, which will be uh, upwards. So this will be R1. Now, for forces on block Q, there will be the weight of block Q acting downwards. There will be the reaction between uh, block uh, Q and block R acting upwards, but there will also be the reaction of block P, it's the same as this one, but now acting downwards. So the same force on both, but in opposite directions. Now the forces on block R, so we're now going to consider this block here, there will be the weight of block R acting downwards. Notice the weight source is the centre of of mass it sort of comes from the center of the block there will be the reaction between r block r and the table which we're going to call r3 and then there will be the same idea here this this reactional force here will be the same but acting downwards in this case so this will react this will be r q acting on r okay so this has been a video to show you the a, the force diagrams of three uh, blocks uh, stacked vertically on a table. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.